Present the holiday classic, The Nutcracker, those stories and more coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. The Christmas spirit is alive and well in Delray Beach this evening, but that spirit was almost stolen by a gang of Grinches. Teenagers swiped three elves from the holiday display at a city park. But as Terry McSweeney tells us in this exclusive report, the crooks were no match for the man who saved Christmas. The Christmas display at Old School Square Park is truly magnificent. A gigantic Christmas tree, beautiful from without and from within. And look, Santa's elves, some working, some resting. But there's never any rest for the wicked, as John Yurt found out one night last week as he peered out from his nightclub just across the street from the display. I saw three kids moving towards the tree, and I called the police. Then I saw them about two minutes later run out the street here down the alley behind the bar and uh, I noticed they had an elf over his shoulder. And you thought that was suspicious? Yeah, a little suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> then I watched them go in their apartment and I uh, called the police and, and they uh, had me identify them. Okay. And I remember their clothing and, and the elf. The elves are back, the display open, the case closed. So there is going to be Christmas after all here in Delray Beach, all because of a man by the name of John Yurt, who will forever be known as the man who saved Christmas. Oh, and by the way, if you were thinking of coming down and stealing an elf yourself, John has a word of warning for you. Elf thieves should think twice before coming to Delray Beach. <laughs> From Delray Beach, where it's beginning to look and feel a lot like Christmas, Terry McSweeney, PBF News. Now, as for the three teenagers who tried to steal Christmas, they're in big trouble. Each is charged with three counts of larceny and could end up spending some time in jail. There is much more...